Thank you very much for the introduction. And I'd like to thank organizers for uh, giving me an opportunity uh, to give a talk here in this such a nice conference. I'm really happy to be here. <clears throat> okay, so um, well, actually, I'll try to talk about the uh, joint work with my students, Yuda, and then uh, on the study, well, Related to reverse math and bioactive, actually the interaction between bioactive and reverse mathematics. And yeah, uh, any, at any point, uh, uh, any questions are welcome and probably he will answer to it. <laughs> well, so I'll try to start. Uh, so uh, I will talk about essentially, I mean, studies on the complexity of methodological problems. I, I mean, in the sense of reverse mathematics and also a uh, sense of biophysics, please. And so the idea is that in reverse methods, you know, which uh, well, we will focus on which axis is needed to prove something, while biophysics or, I mean, computable computability, theoretic studies of I mean, the complexity means that uh, while we were focused on how difficult it is to construct the solutions, that's the idea. And here, typically, uh, consider the complexity of asymmetrical statements means that the something like a uh, statement described by a asymmetrical formula, small s n. But then uh, about the but which are on, how to say, on or above the level isometrical transfer because an idea zero or something like a, the level hyper arithmetic TCG. <laughs> and from the viewpoint of bias degree, then also from uh, reverse math. So, okay, so yeah, so in many talks, the, the systems of uh, reverse mathematics. Uh, uh, already introduced, so here just a really simple ideas. But the so let's say I'll say the only the base theory B a minus plus the model one induction plus the other one comprehension. And then well here, uh well we will just simply try to base the by uh adding well the two in jump of the later is close. I mean that type of statement of lift lift up I'll say to the level of ACA zero. And then ADL is the statement that the, well, I'll say zero plus for given where all the dot Q, then, well, you may find a uh, jump hierarchy along with dot Q, essentially. Well, uh, so uh, here, hierarchy HWY means that the okay, jump hierarchy started from X. So uh, you can. So why, what idea is that why essentially the W time equation of doing jump of X. So that I'm saying always with this, that's a deal though. And well, indeed, uh, sometimes we would consider this kind of well, jump hierarchy, not only along with the uh, real order, but sometimes with just linear order. And in that, in that case, we would say that y is a pseudo jump hierarchy along with the linear order. And so, on the other hand, okay, so the also introduced the ideas via decrease. Uh, so, the work problem or searching problem uh, here, we try, I would try to introduce as a partial. Multi value function, a partial function from, uh, well, subset of positive of omega to the positive of positive of omega. I mean, or like a uh, P might be considered as a partial multi value function from positive of omega to positive of omega. May consider it in, the, in both ways. And actually, well, so usually, well, certain problems, via problem is, would be introduced as a, uh, uh, well, so the multi value function from the bare space to the bare space. But here, actually, we only we mainly focus on uh, problems stronger than jump or SA0. So it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, so we will just, just for simplicity, we will consider on the 
Cantos space, but let's listen to it the same. And then, okay, uh, so the domain of P is called, a, I mean, a member of the domain of P is also called an input for N, or sorry, input for P, I'm sorry. Uh, for given N, well, um, why is it be an output of P of N? Output of P, I mean, if it's a member of P of N. And then, uh, well, okay, so the where production is defined as uh, is, I mean, well, just from the uh, definition, it, it's not easy to understand the meaning. So, okay, but the idea is, yeah, something like this. So the uh, is well, reducible to Q means that there's a uh, two, Doing functionals P and C such that okay, given an input for a problem P or X, well, uh, P uh, convert X to an input for Q, P of, P of X to the input for Q. And then if Y is the solution or output of Q of P of X, then C would compute the output for P of X. That's the idea of graph deduction. And then so, so that means, okay, if you have a, if you use Q as an kind of a or, or something, then you may have always answer P. That's the idea of the graph deduction. And in the end, so because uh, for given P and Q, we have to first fix P and C means that, well, we actually need a kind of a uniform way to reduce a problem, uh, problem P into problem Q. And as usual, why are degrees are uh, just the uh, degree structure induced from this reduction. Okay, and then so usually the study of graph degrees mainly focus on, I mean, the problem from bare space or control space. But here, I would say more on uh, problems described with by a L two formulas, meaning that the okay. So, um, well, let's say T V and L two statement. The form something like for any x, well, if theta x holds, then there is y, but that either of x, y holds. Uh, well, consider this type of statement. Well, likely if x is an ill founded linear order on, not on the natural number, then y is an infinite x between decreasing signals. For example, that, that is uh, those type of statements. And then we can easily consider it as a certain problem. As uh, like P or theta either means that okay. So um actually the uh x satisfying theta is the domain of P. And then well either xy means that y is a solution, y is an output for it for the input there. So yeah. So in that sense, okay, L2 statement of that form can be always considered as a bilateral problem. And we will describe it as a P of theta either. And in this talk, we mainly focus on bilateral problems described by L2 formulas. So I'll try to, I mean, uh, how to say, characterize it, uh, problems why uh, are problems by the complexity of formulas? So let's say, I mean, if the problem P is of the form P of theta either, uh, it's, well, since the arithmetical problem, if both of theta and either are arithmetical. But um, so very often, actually, by a study of why are is a kind of generalization of a study of like pi one two statements in reverse math. Well, in a sense, this is the case. So if theta and either uh, are medical, then the original statement for any x theta x implies that it is why either x, y is pi one two. And well, 
very often we, we focus on those type of questions. But actually, I mean, our programs uh, include more, I mean, not only pi one two statement. And of course, I mean, theta and theta can be more complicated statement. But in, in general, uh, we would call it like, something like a gamma delta problem in theta is the member of gamma and theta is the member of delta. And also, once we have a kind of a uh, bio problem described by this way, then of course you, you may consider it as a, just an L2 sentence, right? I mean, or in other words, you, you may consider it as an axiom for the second order estimated. So let's say, I mean, let's write uh, L2P for that statement. And we'll try to compare the strength of those here. Okay, and then also we can consider, I mean, other reductions, more like, more like uh, directly from the semantics for the second order estimated. So the, uh, well, two, two things are essentially the same thing for this thought, but the, the former one is so-called omega model reduction, uh, meaning that, okay, so given two problems, P and Q, well, both are just described by L2 formulas, so let's say, I mean, uh, P is omega, omega reducible to Q is any model Q in the sense, in the sense of second order estimated is an omega model. And here we consider also as a base system, but I mean, for simplicity or for, for the convenience, sometimes we also, uh, use AC though as a base system if we study the things above arithmetical transfer recursion, for example, that's more reasonable. So in that case, we would say uh arithmetically omega model reducible. And anyway, um so by the definition of via decrease, what what you need to see that well via reduction is the weakest or strongest, I mean. Which is weak and which is strong, <laughs> not sure. But, but I mean, so bias reduction is the weak, weakest reduction. And so the decrease structure is uh, finer. I mean, the fine, fine. And while the, if you use the uh, isometrical omega model reduction, well, the reduction is quite strong. And so the uh, decrease structure is more, I would say, coarse. And so, so in other words, I mean, the study of bias decrease is the refinement, the study of omega models in second order estimated. So yeah, you would compare those things in from this viewpoint sometime. Okay. And then, okay, here, uh, I'll try to include uh, one kind of a uh, theorem for the Knapp-Tatowski uh, pitch point theorem. And the what is that? So um, well, just just consider on their page. So let's say a uh, uh, gamma is a just an operator of uh, Cantor space. Sorry, the uh, Cantor space. Uh, it's set be monotone if okay, H is subset to Y. There's gamma of H is the subset of gamma of Y. And well, gamma is set be arithmetical if there is an arithmetical formula. Well, it's driving that operator in average comprehension. So okay, given, given X, well, gamma of X should be described as an OM satisfying some arithmetical formula C. And then, um, so we'll try to say FP as a statement. I mean, weak form means, yeah, well, we form the Nastatowski switch point theorem saying that any monotone operator on the control space has a fixed point. But actually, the well, the real statement would be there is a smallest fixed point in the end. And but I mean, today we'll just focus on this weak form in well, because the well, the stronger form is actually equivalent to pi on C A del. Well, this weak form is equivalent to A del. I'll, I'll, I'll say in the next slide. But I mean, anyway, so the question is that what's the strength of FB for isometrical operators mainly? 
And so actually that, that was, uh, uh, well, how to say this, from the point of view that I study of this project. And the strength of this weak form of cancer dosing fish point theorem is actually studied in the context of liver mass by Abigail. And then it is equivalent to ATO though. So ATO though is equivalent to uh, fixed point LM for asymmetrical operators, or well, if you consider just sigma zero two operators, and also consider that the <coughs> formula is positive. Positive means that actually, so uh, if T uh, is simply positive, if there is no sub formula of the form, something like something it's not a member of F in the negation normal form of P. And in that case, well, if a formula is positive, then it's automatically monotone operator. So the uh, operator defined by that way, gamma, gamma sub P, well, if a formula is positive, then that operator is automatically monotone. So yeah, fixed point fell and just saying that even a positive sigma of the operator, you may find a fixed point for that. And that is equivalent to ATL though. Well, the point is that the, this equivalent is proved by using so-called uh, pseudo hierarchy method. And that's the point, but, but uh, I'll, I'll say a bit more about it later. But anyway, so then, so it's equivalent to ATL though. So uh, how about the situation like what I think is? Because it's a kind of a natural isometrical statement uh, which is equivalent to ATL zero or pi one two statement, which is equivalent to ATL zero. That's the point. Okay, so here to study the uh, isometrical transfinite and recurs recursion things in the context of wire degrees. So the uh, here uh, four compatible uh, problems are introduced, and the first one is just jump operator. So given given a set f, then the Turing jump out, out, output is, is to Turing jump. And ATL, I think the transfinite recursion, it's a kind of a natural formalization of I think the, well ATL zero in the context of via degrees. So the input is just a well order and a set a, and then output is a jump hierarchy of uh, w. Uh, I mean, that jump hierarchy started from A along with W. But ATR, well, I would say later, but the, there's some problem. Well, actually, so the input, whether given, given something, some set, and whether it's an input or not, that's actually a difficult question. Because uh, asking whether W is uh, well founded or not is pi one completely. So indeed, the input is pi one one. Well, so, and then if you, if we describe uh, the similar statement in the second way, ATR2, well, so then the situation is a bit different. So the ATR2 is an input is a just a linear order and a set F, a set A. And then output is a jump hierarchy starting from A along with L or a witness that L is not well ordered, <laughs> one of them. So now the difference is that, well, the ATL2 is actually isometrical. So judging whether input is uh, linear order or not, it's just the isometrical. One, you make it isometrically. And the output is still isometrical. So it is just the isometrical. And the fourth one is the choice on their space, uh, which is, well, so, for example, Blasto Blastoka, I uh, often say that A, this may be a good candidate for the kind of correspondence of the ATL zero in the context of bias decrease. So then the statement is that the, well, just a uh, choice function on uh, bare space. So given an ill founded tree or a closed set of bare space, if, oh, sorry, uh, yes, you found it means that the no name closed there, 
then output is just being stacked. And then, well, okay, so compared to the situation in Libert map, of course, they uh, jump operator, if you consider as an L2 sentence, it, uh, together with L0, it's just AT0. And if you consider the previous two statements, ATR and ATR2, ATR2 as a L2 sentence, then if you add that at that to out the bill, of course the uh, idea bill. While the last one, so it's, it's actually given a, you found it pre, you found it pre means the, the interface of T and output is just its pair. So if you go like that, just in a naive way, I mean, I mean, just, just as I described, then it is a previous statement, unfortunately, in the, in the sense of L2. So that real friends doesn't come from the kind of a formalized L2, L2 statement. But anyway, so the study of this area is, I mean, there are several very good uh, studies on this area by Tihara Mangon and Pauli, and also by Jung Go, and also uh, by uh, T.S. Dulia, I mean, I didn't mention here, but maybe it may go up here. And then it's well known that the so the ATR is strictly stronger than jump, jump operator, and ATR2 is actually strictly stronger than ATR, and uh, so it's, it's the strongest one among these terms. So here, if we consider these principles of the uh, from the viewpoint of reverse now, I would say maybe ATR. Uh, Something is computed from ATR means that that's true, I actually uniformly true in the model of like uh, hyperverbs, more or less. So, given a, well, I mean, just a rough idea. And on the other hand, the choice and choice of their space can be considered as the, I mean, as it, it reflects the truth in. Any kind of beta model. So if anything is true in some beta model, beta model means that uh, omega model, uh, which is um, elementary equivalent uh, and sigma one one elementary equivalent to the intended the full model. So that's that's called beta model. And so the uh, choice of beta space essentially con corresponds to beta model in some sense. And if we say this kind of idea a bit more precisely, then well, okay. So uh, the so the second thing actually means this. So if P is something like the uh, arithmetical problem in a sense that the well, just output part is arithmetical, then already it is always reducible to the choice of their space means that, okay, that type of question is always, I mean, if it has a solution, then it's true. I mean, it, it, the solution should exist on any better model and the choice on better plate always computes that. And if P is actually the input is just something like pi one one, then actually it should be always weaker than the choice on their plate. So the choice of their space never be described by a um, arithmetical type of property. And if P is indeed arithmetical, I mean the input and both output are both arithmetical, and P is are both ATR, well actually ATR is not described by arithmetical statement either. And so it should be in between ATR and the choice of their space. These are omega to omega. And this is, I mean, I'm not sure whether it is officially described somewhere or not, but anyway, it's setting this is not so hard. Just by very to discussion, you may see the, this kind of thing. So here, the situation is something like that. 
Sony, well, I mean, in big five, well, ATL, how to say that? Distance between ATL Bill and Final Fantasy Abilities in something huge. And then, okay, so ATL and ATL2 can be some reasonable correspondence of ATL Bill, but there's some difference. I mean, strengths are a bit different. And the choice on their space, it's indeed. About this end, if you consider it as a truth in beta model, I would say it, it might be closer to better comprehension, but I mean, it's not easy to say what's the, what's the exact strength. But anyway, uh, you may also consider a uh, pound comprehension in this context of biology, biology, and then, well, uh, just the same as the situation in uh, reverse math, uh, well, pound comprehension. In the sense of biophysics, we still can compute a beta model of any kind of thing. So that's definitely stronger than the choice of their speech. So the picture is something like this. And then now we try to consider the original fixed point statement. So, okay, if you form a fixed point statement in biophysics, then probably this is. One natural reasonable way to do that is that, well, uh, given a positive sigma delta formula, and actually it's parameter, then output is the uh, fixed point in the sense of gamma supply. Well, um, so we mainly, today we mainly focus on uh, just the uh, fixed point cell. Uh, provided by a sigma delta formula, but we can of course generalize it to any arithmetical level. And then, okay, as we have seen if you consider L2 FP, if you consider FP as an L2 statement, then that is provable from ATR and actually equivalent to that. But the uh, what you and I noticed was that the OJ that proof cannot be converted easily to the reduction in the sense of bias increase. And yes, and, and indeed it's impossible. So the situation is something like that, actually. I mean, um, so ATL2, it's indeed it's not parallelable. Uh, that's another. Tell them actually, but ADR2 is strictly weaker than uh, weaker than the two product of ADR2. If you don't know about the product, never mind. And then it's weaker than FP. But uh, I mean, product means that just given two in, two inputs of ADR2, then well, you you need to output two things at the same time. That's that's just a problem. And actually, FP then is parallelizable, means that, well, not only two, but, well, even you may use a FP for, for countably many inputs at the same time. But ADL2 is not. <laughs> and still, FP can compute the output of ADL2 all the time. So it's pretty stronger. But the, the converse doesn't hold, that's the point. And why it's difficult? So we may understand the difficulty of FP um, by its truth. So, so here's the essentially the, uh, the idea of the proof of fixed point theorem within ATR bill. And we'll use the so-called pseudo hierarchy argument. Um, if you are familiar to that, well, it's a, kind of an easy application of pseudo hierarchy argument. And so the idea is that, okay, so within AC0, we can easily show that there is no sigma formula saying that something is well ordered. So well orderedness is, as you know, final for free. So never be described by a sigma formula. And then, okay, so given uh, a isometrical formula P, and then, okay, so given any linear order, I'm sorry, given any real order, you may equate 
five how many times easily within with using a DFL. Meaning that, okay, you, you may find a sequence AI such that, well, AI is always a, uh, defined by that algebraic formula P uh, of a uh, union of all previous terms. But it's just the usual kind of a construction for pitch point. And that's possible for any real order. But meaning that, okay, so there should exist some ill founded linear order L and the sequence as well. Because why? If, if, that, if it does not exist, means that, well, something is real order if and only if such an hierarchy exists. But such hierarchy AI exists is just a sigma one statement. Why real organism should be pi one statement? It can't be equivalent. Means that there's some kind of a counter example, and that's linear order L together with its uh, sequence of the form AI. So more precisely, uh, there are always there should exist some linear order L. And the sequence AI such that, well, okay, AI is always a, the result of the P of the previous union of all previous pen. And the linear order should be still has a, uh, always has a kind of a next element. I mean, locally, it looks like it will order. And uh, there's no kind of a extra thing. So for, for, for anything, or any element in appear in this hierarchy, you may find a, uh, where it is, so this where it is in the hierarchy. But once you find a, this kind of hierarchy uh, together with the infinite decreasing sequence of L, then you may find a fixed point actually. Okay? So if, uh, so IS is an infinite decreasing sequence on L, then, well, intersection of all a, a sub i s pair is the fixed point. Well, not 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 a huge fixed point. So, so one of the fixed points. But if we see the definition of ATL two, it's almost impossible from this. I mean, from this type of statement. So, given a linear order L and the same A. Uh, well, um, okay, output was one of jump out the or just a descending sequence. Well, you may express it to a, some kind of a uh, pseudo jump out, but still, that's not enough. I mean, so the for this type of the construction for FP, you need kind of a real power of pseudo jump, uh, pseudo hierarchy argument, provable in ADR zero. But I mean, and, and indeed, so the previous books by like Julie Go or Kihara, Marcone, Pauli, or in those papers, well, in, in a sense, they try to, how to say, yeah, formulate a kind of a reasonable uh, correspondence of isometric transfer recursion in the sense of bias decrease, but it is, it is difficult. And actually, Bulliard uh, mentioned in his PC thesis that the, well, formation of true hierarchy argument in the context of biopsychic uh, is possible, but I mean, natural formulation should be equivalent to the choice on their space. And, and or above their space. So, in general, it's not easy to apply pseudo hierarchy method in the setting of bias decrease, not using the choice of bare space. Why? What's the reasonable, reason, reasonable version of correspondence of ADR though in the context of bias decrease? So, okay, so maybe if he, the previous thing, it's above ADL2, so it's a bit better than 
ADR, the original ADR too. But probably this is not enough still, right? I mean, this is just a kind of a one instance of a uh, ADR though, one, one consideration of ADR though. So how should we do? Well, okay. So here we will introduce a kind of a seeding idea. <laughs> Meaning that the so so this is a general definition, but a for problem used well described by the L2 formula P of theta eta, we are trying to define a new problem P reflection as follows. So input is just any set X, and output is a couple. I mean, it, it's actually so called omega models of P of theta eta. So the idea is that, okay, mi is just a set of thickens, and as a family of set, uh, it is closed under Q-in reduction, and f, of f and g indicates that, so given, uh, given some mi, it's, some, it's still a member of some of them, and which one is indicated by f? And also for the Q in charge. So we would say it is the omega model of ACL in a kind of effective way. So you can consider it as an effective, mo effective model of ACL. And together with uh, P of theta eta. So the last condition takes that, okay. So um, this model is closed under uh, that searching power P of theta eta means that. Means that it's a model of L two P L two P, and then, well, I mean, then almost trivially from the definition, we may say this kind of thing. So if, well, let's say P and Q are programs that destroyed by L two formulas, and then if either is arithmetical, then the original problem P is always reducible to P reflection. If you find a model of P, omega model of P, of course, you can find a solution. But actually, uh, well, only when the solution is arithmetical, because I mean, judging whether which, which one is the solution is not easy in general. But it's a model of SNL. So if the uh, either is arithmetical, then you may find the right one. In an effective way. And if theta and either are both sides medical, then actually, okay, so P reflection is still arithmetical. So given an arithmetical statement, P reflection is still arithmetical. And indeed, it's strictly in between P and the, the choice of bare space. Uh, well, actually, the splitness comes from the later idea, but I mean, we can say that. And of course, I mean, well, if theta is final one and either is sigma one, and well, theta hat, theta hat is just arithmetical. And okay, consider that P, or oh, sorry, uh, I should write L2P. I mean, L2P is provable from Q plus ACL, L2Q plus ACL. Plus two in that, naturally, we only consider omega model. So we may always add induction. So if P is provable from Q, then of course um, P reflection is bigger than Q reflection. I mean, provability of course uh, automatically induces omega model reduction. And P reflection versus Q reflection means just the uh, P is omega model reducible to Q in a sense. So this holds. And so for any arithmetical problem P, well, if L2P is provable from ADR0 plus for induction, then it should be below P reflection, but P reflection is always below ADR2 reflection. So indeed, in that sense, well, I mean, the choice of bare space, it's not needed to formalize any kind of pseudo hierarchy argument available within the ADR zone. 
Because I need it, just I need this CDN with me. <laughs> if you find a mega model of eight years old, that's enough. With, within that, you, you may invert any kind of argument. Of course, should I? I should have the argument is available. And yes, so the situation is something like that. So it is, well, so we found that AP is a bit above place on um, ADR2, but it's still below ADR2 reflection, and the range of ADR0 is something below it. That's the situation. But still, there seems to be a huge gap between ADR2 reflection and the choice of their space at the building. And, and also, Natural question is that, well, okay, so ADL2 reflection is quite I an mean, artificial degree. So, what's the uh, kind of better thing in between? <laughs> and oh, oh, by the way, so uh, I, I hope I'm talking about this. By the way, so the, um, the, the reflection actually provide a kind of a uh, something like a jump operator in the sense of. Bias actually, and so because of this omega model incompleteness, so uh, if phi is an L two sentence, well, which is just true in the standard model, and then consider T as the uh, well AC AC zero plus P, then there always exists a model S omega model S such that it is a model of T. Plus, um, satisfying the condition that there's no countable coded omega model of T inside of it. So S is a model of T, but S doesn't contain any omega model of T. That, that kind of thing always exists. So it's more like a Usual incompleteness theorem. I mean, saying that, uh, well, okay, T never proves the existence of the model of T. Saying that, but with the condition that the model is omega. And that is, well, that is not only saying that T won't prove the, this kind of statement, but actually, you may separate those using omega model. That's the idea. And that says, this says, well, so if P is an arithmetical problem, then P reflection is strictly stronger than P. So this always provides a kind of a uh, operator, I mean, operator choosing something stronger in between ADR and the choice of their space. So, well, actually, you may consider, like starting from ADL2, ADL2 reflection is stronger, ADL2 reflection of reflection is stronger, ADL2 reflection of reflection, reflection is stronger, but still all below the choice of airspace. You may consider that kind of thing. So then, okay, between them, what are the natural statements? So they here try to deal with uh, Tausnath's. Uh, Proposed left by leftmost path relative by leftmost path principle. Uh, so the idea is this. So sigma is okay, LPP. It's okay, its input is just an unfounded tree, and together with the path, I mean kind of an initial path or trivial path, to say that it is unfounded. Uh, well, I mean uh, or or you may consider T is just a tree, and then you may add a kind of a rightmost path <laughs> in a trivial way. You, you may always do that. So, so that's actually just given a tree is, is the same here. And anyway, the output is a path of T. It means the condition that it is something like leftmost, but describing leftmost is actually time of one hand. So avoiding that, and we will just consider definable path, path from G. So a path G is something like this, sigma delta left one means that there is no sigma K 
definable. Well, together, together with G and the original of F and the PT for everything, there's no define sigma k definable path H of T. Well, which is on lexicographically smaller than G, I mean, on the left of G. So this is original introduced by Hausner in the context of Liebert math. And actually, uh, he showed that this is of a sigma del del LPP already in dry sphere del. And why well, a bound combination always implies all these things? Because, I mean, actually, the Leftmost path principle, given a tree, you may find a leftmost, given a, you, you found a tree, uh, it's just a leftmost path always, this statement is equivalent to power C and L in the well known result in the context of development, and all, that's also true in the context of bias between. But, and, and so, of course, the leftmost path is always a relative to leftmost path, so it is implied in from. Comprehension, but the converse can be called because it is an isometrical statement essentially. Isometrical means well, in the context of legal math, it is I like two statement, or well, actually, in this way, it is described as a isometrical problem. So, never be never get stronger than choice on their space, or never get stronger than I don't see there. and then. Okay, but still, I mean, Hausner's analysis still works within the context of ATL Dell. I mean, I'm sorry, within the context of well, decrease, and ATL is still bigger than sigma del del LPP. And FP, fixed point LM, actually, I mean, it's not easy to in the, uh, reduce from uh, sigma del del LPP. Uh, I guess it's not possible, but I mean, it's unclear still, but at least sigma 2 LPP is enough. And sigma 3 LPP is strong enough to reduce like ATL2 reflection. So providing a model ATL0. And in general, so um, sigma 0 and LPP reflection is below sigma 0 M plus 3 LPP. And the separation always comes from the previous, I mean, omega model incompleteness. So it forms a split hierarchy between, well, um, ADL and the choice of their space. Yeah, so the situation is something like this. Well, this study is actually still ongoing and the, uh, we are seeking for better examples that actually the exasperance of many of them are still not so clear. So the, there are many remaining questions. Like for example, uh, this kind of thing is still unknown. But the first one is actually, so this study, the motivation was essentially, well, finding a reasonable principle in the context of bias decrease, um, and which can cover everything provable from ATL zero in the context of reverse math. But I mean, it's still unclear whether that such a thing exists. I guess not, but I, I don't know how to prove that. So the, well, the question is, so the maximum element of that kind of thing. So I make a problem, which is provable from ATL zero in the sense of, in that math. And the max in a sense of bias decrease exists or not. I mean, and actually the, we may also pose a question for soup, but actually uh, if soup exists, then it must be max. So yeah, the same here. And and also uh, we I I said that I mean we have to find a kind of a with hierarchy between uh, ATL and the choice of bare space, but actually, I mean, yeah, I'm sure whether it's kind of properly split or not. I mean, so the if we consider three, le three level up, then we know that it's pretty stronger, but we don't know whether just a 
sigma m plus sigma del m plus one LBP is enough to be used. I mean, sigma del m LBP reflection on that. So there's some gap actually. And, and of course, well, sigma del m LBP is a, I think it's a really good candidate to study in this area, but we want more natural isometrical problems between them. And well, actually, you and I have developed several of those things already, but I, I mean, about like more like a pinch point theorem, uh, same as the Knotkowski sounds. Um, but, but it's still, I mean, developing, I would say. And perhaps, um, so in the paper by Tasma, um, you mentioned that the uh, like uh, Menga Selen or Nash William Selen, those things are. Uh, in between, uh, lives in this area, so probably they, uh, they may be a reasonable candidate. Or we can really have studied, uh, studies with uh, again Tasma and also Paper and the David Fernandez UK that be more like the more, more like the LM analysis of the Haristic fixed point LM also lives in this area. So that may be also a good candidate for a natural examples in of the bio piece in this area. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.